Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you this origami turtle I designed. So the turtle is based off of J.C. Nolan's Andrea's Rose Tessellation, which can be found in his book Creating Origami. Uh, I don't technically have permission to teach the Rose Tessellation, so I'll link in the description to the tessellation, and once you've folded that, you can come back to this video and I'll show you how to make it into this turtle. Okay, so now that you've folded the desolation, I'll teach you how to make it into a turtle. So, these four corners are going to become the legs, but we need a f two flaps for a head and a tail. And so what you can do is you open this up and fold this out here and they'll make a valley fold here and here inside there there's one flap for a head and then we can do the same on the opposite side and we have those flaps now the head will want to make it a bit more square so we'll fold just right here Fold these two corners to the center of this little square, like that, and crease. And unfold, and now we'll do a mixed sink fold right here. Push the corner in, that and do it on the other side and for the tail we'll want a narrow point so we'll do a kite fold here so we'll fold this edge to the center line instead of the corners and then we'll also sink it just like on the head and once again it's a mixed sink because of the way the layers are folded be as precise as you can. And if you want to, you can get a small point like this and make sure that the corner is pushed down all the way. It's not necessary, but it can help if you're having a little bit of difficulty. And there. Now, for the front legs here, we're going to slide this flap over a little bit so we create a little bit of three-dimensionality on the body and then we'll fold along this line here like that and you want to make sure that it comes all the way to the center on the back then we'll just make a fold right here. It doesn't have precise references, but you don't want it to go all the way to the corner, and you don't want it 
hang over the edge here. So just something like this. And then we'll do a reverse fold here that will get this flap a little bit smaller and it'll also round off the shell here like this. And now repeat that on the other side. So you slide this flap over a little bit. Then fold the flap up. And narrow the leg. And make a reverse fold here. Now for the back legs, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a kind of squash fold here. So we'll fold this flap and make a squash fold on this layer. I like to start making the squash fold here and then fold the flap in to the center. Like that. And then we're going to fold this flap up and actually no sorry before we do that we'll slide this over like we did on the front limbs and now we'll make a fold that starts in the center here and it goes over the diagonal line here just like that and now make a reverse fold similar to what we did on the front. And fold this uh, flap up along this reverse fold we made here. So it turns into a squash fold. Then we'll fold the leg back starting not quite where this fold is, but slightly below it so that the leg has some three-dimensionality three there, like that, if you can see that. And now, round off the foot however you want to. And do that on the other. So first, squash fold here. Slide this fold the flap in reverse fold here then a valley fold. And another valley fold, except making the foot three-dimensional. And 
then just round off the foot. And now we'll begin some shaping. First, we're going to make eyes on the head just by folding these corners in. then round off the tip if you want to. Sometimes I just leave it, but I think it looks a little bit better when it's rounded off like that. Then for the front legs, I'm going to make a curved fold right here. Like this. And on the other one. And then for the tail. Start by folding it in half, then fold it to the side, and then curve it. And just for some added three-dimensionality on the shell, I like to make a little pleat here and on the other side. And this layer up here will slide over the other layer. Just like that. And then this paper is a bit too small for me to do it easily, but you can lock it by folding this corner behind. And this one though, I'm just going to fold it with the valley fold, which doesn't lock it quite as well. It's too small for me. Then do it on the other side. And that's it. You can continue shaping it however you want, but that's how I like to shape it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.